Hey, this is Danny, and here's your four-minute devotion. Today, we're talking about aliens. Um, I don't mean the kind from another planet. If, if, if you want to talk about conspiracies, go to uh, alientruth.com. And I'm not really talking about illegal immigration. Um, for that, I would suggest... John McCain. I'm talking about people from another country. You know, like like tourists. If you've lived in a place frequented, fre frequent, frequented, frequented. If you live in a place where tourists are, you know, like Los Angeles, New York, Oregon. You've probably noticed that they don't blend very well. They dress different, they act different, they talk different. They're different from the culture they're in. Maybe you've had the privilege of going to a different place and being an alien in that land. Tourists, I mean tourists, no alien conspiracies here, please. Once I was on a missions trip to the Philippines and I was actually cla Seriously? Anyways, I was on a mission trip to the Philippines, and I was actually classified as a dumb American tourist. It wasn't anything I did or said, but it was my friend. He insisted at the hotel desk that they should have free internet. Then he went on to say that everywhere in the United States has free internet. That's not really true. And a note for really dumb American tourists. If you're traveling in a foreign country where they don't speak your language, um, Talking louder and slower isn't going to help them understand what you're saying. Hey there, Pablo, where's the bathroom? I said, where is the bathroom? Time for the Youth Pastor Devotion from 1994. Did you know that the Bible says that we are called to be aliens in this world? That's radical, like DC Talk's new CD. Ugh, uh, sorry about that. 94 Youth Pastor did make a good point. The Bible does say that we are tourists in this land. Hey, good luck on your lock-in, guy. Thanks, it's gonna be radical. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19, Paul says that we're members of God's country, that we're citizens in God's kingdom. In 2 Peter 2, 11, Peter tells us that we're not supposed to get comfortable in this world because we're just visiting. So if we're visitors or foreigners or aliens, shouldn't we look different? Jesus said that his followers or citizens would be known by their love. Today, the American church is known for a lot of things. Love isn't really one of them. So what should we do with this dilemma? Someone way smarter than me once said, Hi, Mom. You can't change anyone but yourself. So... Probably we should start with our own hearts. Anything to add, 94 Youth Pastor? Read your Bible and allow God to change your life, because that's radical. There you go. I'm Danny, and until next time, have a beautiful day.